Tara here from Simple Day, and I am on a mission to make productivity simple using Monday.com. I want to show you how you can use a progress column to help track your items or your overall projects. Now, there's two different ways that I like to use this column, and I'm going to show you how. The first way is a more simple way, and you can see that it is on a board. So you see that we have project two, project three, and then we have three status columns, and then we have the progress. So I can see out of these three, my progress is 67. Now, just so you know, if I scroll to the left, I do have another status column, but that is not taken into account in this progress bar. What you would do is you can click on these three dots and you go to settings and you can choose which status columns you want to use to track the progress. You also can change, like maybe defining the goal would be 50% of the progress. So you can um, change instead of distributing weight equally, you can distribute the weight however you want. So in this specific example, I have my line items and then I have three stages of each item that I am that I want to track what our progress is. So we have defining the goal audience and the story and you can see if I would change this to done, so it will change my progress to 100%. Now, this is the first way to use the progress bar, and this is on a one specific board that's just tracking these items. Now, I wanted to show you a little more of a complex way to use the progress bar. Sometimes you have an overview board, like this is called projects overview board, and you are keeping track of a lot of projects. So you can see here, I have my overview board and I have three projects that I am tracking. Now, what I did is if you go into the specific project board, so you will see um, on this one, this project is done, but you will see that I have, I created a progress column in this board and it's only pulling the information from this status. So it's true on a line item level, it doesn't really help me because I already have the status done and it's telling me that it's 100%. Honestly, that doesn't really help me. But what I did with this board is you can see that I'm linking to the projects. Now I set up a, an item default value. So anytime something is created, it will automatically connect to project one. And then what I did on the project overview board, as you can see over here, so here it's linking to my project boards. I linked to all my projects and then I mirrored the status column. So it's pulling in a sum total. So as opposed to this project one board where you can see here, I just have one, you know, this is just, tracking the status of one specific item, which is not really helpful. When you pull the information up to a project overview boards, it's very helpful information because it shows you that I did 40% of my tasks or I did 50% of my tasks. So let's just say, um, you know, this task is not relevant anymore. So I can take it out and see how that affects the progress level. So just to summarize, there's two ways that you can use the progress column. The first is simply with different status columns, like I showed you in the first example, and you can just track the status of them. Just make sure that you change the settings so that way you're choosing the percentage the weight of each one and which columns you want to track the second way to do it is to have an overview board so this is a projects overview board and it's connected to my lower level project boards and once you connect it you mirror the progress column and it shows you the overall progress of the whole project so remember before i showed you project one so here you see that it's a hundred percent complete if you enjoyed this video, please like it below. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already, if you are interested in learning more tips and tricks about how to use Monday.com.